Okay. Oh my god! Albedo? Over 3,000 defense on Albedo is now very, very easily achievable while allowing Albedo to still output a hell of a lot of damage thanks to the new weapon, the Cinnabar Spindle. What's going on, guys? Asian Guy here, and welcome to Genshin Monday. Genshin Monday is a series I do every single Monday where I take on the weekly bosses, showcase a few characters and new things, and talk about anything and everything ranging from Genshin Impact to life as well. We've got the new artifact fat set the husk of opulent dreams my albedo is constellation zero contrary to popular belief and a lot of misinformation that goes around about me even though i wail a lot on this game guys i don't actually have every single character at constellation six i don't see the need to do that and i only do so for characters i really 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 like now albedo is a character i do really really like but they did kind of do him dirty with this hairstyle he's missing so many fluffs of hair anyway three nine six other talents i'm not sure whether or not i want to crown him yet but before we get in and obliterate all of these weekly bosses and I show you guys and tell you guys about my build, a message from our sponsor Guild Wars 2. Thank you very much for sponsoring the video. Guild Wars 2 is one of the highest rated MMOs of all time with over 200 hours of gameplay. And guess what? Just like my Albedo, it is completely free to play, no subscription required. Unlike traditional MMOs, Guild Wars 2 is not a grind and to help you hit the ground running, they have a new player guide as well as a very robust character creator. Now is a fantastic time to get into the game as they will be launching the highly anticipated End of Dragons update in early 2022 and you can join the massive, diverse and inclusive community of Guild Wars 2 by clicking the link in the description and in the pinned comment section down below. Thank you so much to Guild Wars 2 for sponsoring the video and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye bye. So our boy, our homunculus, our Beto. Let's take a look at the stats. Hear me out guys. I know that crit rate don't look good and that crit damage don't look good. That energy recharge is a little bit copious. We got the geo damage down there. Now this artifact set has not been out for a long time and we've got one great piece here we've got another great piece here it is a defense circle and ideally i want a crit rate circle now i do also have a crit damage circle and i will be able to use both of these however i don't have a goblet for this set yet i don't have a proper time piece for this set yet it's not great it's got a lot of elemental mastery which is a waste this feather is also not great it's got a lot of flat hp energy recharge which i don't need because with the team i'm going to be using today the four man or four person geo Unga Bunga, ready and waiting for Goro, ready and waiting for Arataki Ito, we are going to see how strong Albedo can be. Now, I just realized I don't have any of my ults ready, but it's okay. Tartalia is always going to be the experimental boss that we are going to test everything on. I'm hoping, guys, to see at least 20,000 damage from Albedo's elemental skill every time he strikes an enemy. Before, I was doing around 15,000. So, going from 15,000 to 20,000 is actually a very, very, very big increase. But, you know, I'm greedy. It is what it is. I am going to give Albedo some crit rate food because I'm interested to see how much Albedo could actually do if I got proper stats for him. And it's going to take maybe a month or so before I get him that crit rate. I haven't used food in so long. I don't even know what tab it is. Is it this one? Yes, it is. That's physical damage. Crit rate. Ooh, okay. Increase all party members crit rate by 20%. So that's what we want. We're not increasing Albedo's damage here. We're just increasing his consistency. So he crits half of the time to 52 Point six. Now, actually, I just realized because I only just farmed this weapon before going live with this video, I haven't done the refinements yet. So let's do the refinements. Elemental skill at R5. This weapon, I'm assuming, is going to be absolutely cracked. So again, I'm hoping for 20,000 here. So we've got a full Geo Unga Bunga team. We'll put this down. Boom. We'll put this down. Boom. And we'll walk through that. We'll put that down. 12K. 9.6K. 12 wait 28k oh my god albedo uh. Uh. wait hello 
That that's an F2P Albedo. What? Um. Have I? I. Wait, I'm actually shook. That's going to keep increasing. I haven't crowned him. I don't have the weapon at R5. My artifacts are extremely copium. And he's just hit. For a passive tick. Of 28k. Albedo is actually cracked now. Oh my god, that's actually so good. That's actually so good. Okay, okay. I need to chill here. I need to chill here. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm not chilling. I'm not chilling. How much damage does that do? Okay, okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. But of course, we're going to finish off with the Zhongli here. In style. Now, Tartalia obviously always wants to take on Zhongli. The reason why Zhongli says no is because that's going to happen. But Albedo, 28k. I need to hit 30k, guys. I need to hit 30. 30k per tick will actually be insane. We got a Dream Solvent as well. And we got a four legendary drop. And it's a pretty good artifact. It's essentially an Albedo flower here. But it's a bit copium because not on the right set. Wow, I'm actually stunned, guys. I'm genuinely, genuinely stunned. Do I crown him? I have nine crap. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind, guys. We'll we'll get round to crowning him in another video. But wow, that is actually great. I, I, my my, my brain. I can't. I can't. I can't explain how shocked I am because he's essentially with the new set and the new weapon. His damage has basically doubled, which is a madness. That, that is a madness. Right. Devalin, what, <laughs> what have you got for me? Let, let's go with Devalin. Can Ninkwan hit Devalin? Boom. Charge attack. Boom. Charge attack. No. I, what, uh, okay, the answer is no, guys. Watch this, though. Watch this. Boom. It, oh, I actually hit him. Oh, I actually hit him, guys. Uh... Weird camera angle there. Okay. No. Let me on. Boom. Boom. Oh! Don't die! Okay, this is the real reason why Albedo is great. That is the real reason why. Okay, if you guys would like to... um. Oh, I can't... Put uh, Albedo's Geo Construct here. Oh, oh, that is awkward. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, let's heal with Ning Kwan here. Uh, thank you. More healing, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is uh, F2P Zhongli, guys. Well, I didn't one phase the Valin. Turns out you can't put Albedo's Elevator on Devalin's neck like a pimple or anything, which is unfortunate. Well, we have so many random Geo Con. <laughs> We have so many random geo constructs. Okay, well, if you stand on these geo constructs, guys, you can actually avoid the damage from the platforms, which is pretty cool. It's completely and utterly pointless. And I can't see. But yes, there we go. Okay. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Go on now, Beto. It's your birthday. See, the, the platform is down there, but it's not actually doing anything. How much damage does this do then? No! No, come back! Okay. Okay. I like how Zhongli's pillar does more damage there than his ultimate to the shield. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, that's just rude. That That's just rude. Goodbye. That's what happens when you pop a pimple, guys. Anyway, I hope to get... 
The, this camera angles all over the place. Anyway, I hope to get a dream solvent. We don't get a dream solvent. We get absolutely nothing. That is hot garbage. Uh, I'm still just, my brain is still a little bit fried, honestly speaking, from how much damage Albedo has done. And I'm very, very, very excited for the Geo Unga Bunga. And for those of you who don't know what the Geo Unga Bunga is, it's basically you have Zhongli, Albedo, you have the Geo Traveler, you have Ningguan, or you have Noel, and now we have Goro, we have the new character, I think, Gunjin, and we have Arataki Ito. We have so many Geo characters incoming. Just Mono Geo. It's not a meme. It's a meme, but it's not a meme anymore, guys. And for those of you who know, ever since Zhongli came out, I have been like the number one Zhongli shrimp. And I've been hard, hard, hard shrimping for Zhongli. Let's go all the way to La Senora and let's take her out with the Geo Unga Bunga. I want to show you guys something. And I hope she doesn't destroy my Geo Constructs. For those of you who don't know how to use the Geo Traveler properly, uh, oh, okay, this might be a problem because I don't have my ultimate here. Okay, Senora, shut up. Every single time you 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 talk the talk, but we all know you you just you just got slapped. You got slapped, Senora. You got slapped, and you need to learn to accept your fate. You need to learn to accept your fate. Okay, we got some lots of Geo Unga Bunga damage coming through here. We'll do this. Boom. All right, I want to get my ult back here. Cool. Okay, so if I break these, the sheer coal would disappear instantly. I could just stand there slowly as well. Where is the fire pillar? Ah, so something I learned is if you take these, look at the... Look, the melt will automatically happen with the random ticks that you get from Zhongli's thing. So if you have Zhongli, you can literally chill by one of these and then you just run to the, the butterfly and it will automatically melt for you. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Right, let's go and get that one as well. Okay, maybe we can just brute force this now. Never mind. Where's the other? No, you know what? We can brute force this. Okay, so hopefully because Senora likes to boogie boogie and move around a lot, there's a good chance that she might destroy my construct here. But so what you do, you stand on this. Okay, you climb to the top and then you do. Th okay, I'll show you guys again later how to get the perfect ticking resonance. But uh, that was unfortunate and not meant to happen. Okay, she's just said goodbye. Oh, okay. Is this boss never not annoying, guys? 32k with the Traveler. Traveler is still so underrated. So many people don't know that the Traveler actually hits really, really, really hard. Geo Traveler is Kraktu. Right, watch this. Boom. 32k, just the casual 32k. You love to see it. My Ningguan is also not built properly as well. Do I even have the right weapon on her right now? Let me take a look. Ningguan, what weapon do you have? Okay, Lost Prayers, Artifacts. <coughs> yes, no wonder she was doing so little damage. Turns out uh, I didn't even have the right build on her. I asked for redemption here, Ningguan. I'm so, so, so sorry. What do we have? HP Sands! Yo, guys, you did not see that. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. No one saw that. No one saw. Okay, she will actually do damage now. Oh, my. Oh my, no wonder she was not doing any damage. We got another Dream Solvent, which is great. We have Broken Pass 50 now. We have 52 Dream Solvent. I have no idea what I'm ever going to use these, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm so sorry, Ningguan. I have severely, severely disrespected you. Let's go over to Andreas and redeem your damage because we all know Ningguan hits like a truck when she wants to hit like a truck. I had a HP Sans. I did not have the two-piece Geo set. I, I don't know what I was doing, guys. I'm so, so sorry. But as I was saying, Geo Supremacy, the time is finally now. And I've just remembered, guys, that I've completely forgot to mention. Hello. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm back from New York. I completely forgot because Alvedo's damn It still blows my mind how much damage his ticks do. On field, off field does 28 thousand guys 28 thousand this is an f2p build 
F2P and it's not even finished yet. The build is not finished yet. He's going to be able to hit over 40,000 damage when Goro comes out. I'm almost certain he's going to be able to hit 40 to 50,000 casually when Goro comes out. So I'm kind of tempted for my F2P account to go for Geo Supremacy. The one thing is I already play Geo Supremacy on my main account. So maybe it would be counterproductive to have that on my F2P account. And yes, I am still playing on my F2P account as well. There we go. There's some better damage from Ningguan. And as I was saying, yes, I'm back from New York, guys. So yeah, it's been a while. I'm sure you guys have seen the vlogs already. If you haven't seen the vlogs yet, both Dawn, Psycho, and Jake, Tuanto have uploaded vlogs of our time in New York where Neko P and I went to go visit a bunch of content creators and Anime NYC. And it was a fantastic, fantastic experience. And I don't think I will really ever forget it. It was one of the best times of my life. I had an amazing time and I already miss them very, very, very much. Watching those vlogs is honestly very, uh, very emotional. Boom, 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 boom. I try to force Andreas out of his ult there or out of his zoomies here. Boom. There we go. 10k damage. Cheeky. So, yeah, I am. I'm kind of having post con blues, I believe it's called a post con depression is when you go to a convention and then afterwards when it's over you know you're just you're just sad because it's all done and dusted right oh finish him off boom 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 okay that was low-key underwhelming and <clears throat> that was low-key underwhelming okay albedo come on you're not you're not you're not i mean he just hit for twelve thousand seven hundred something without critting which is pretty good but that was low-key uh you know that was low-key underwhelming that that ending there but here we go dream solvent number 53 hey very nice and we got four drops again and last but not least we have got the geo resistant monster which is going to be the king of the frogs aged aha but yeah new york we did a lot of stuff if you're wondering if i'm gonna have a vlog i will have a vlog 100 i will upload a vlog eventually unlike dawn and jake though how efficient i am with uploading videos you can probably compare me to ant who was also there in new york and uploads videos from like three months ago like now so you know you can expect to see the vlog maybe next year if you're lucky guys maybe next year but the people that i met up with were fob master fob's girlfriend lily 218 noma i met up with jake and akron ed dawn slice uh, i went with neko as well and i really hope i haven't forgotten someone there because that would be super super awkward if i have but that was everyone dish was meant to be there but she unfortunately could not make it we did book everything super last minute so like it's understandable that you know a lot of us couldn't make it envy as well Boop. we we hope to one day all be there in japan together unfortunately because of the new covid variant japan has closed its borders we are planning to go for summer However, that is now looking more and more unlikely, which is a shame. Now, surprisingly, those those thumps that he just did, Aztahar, did not actually break Albedo's Geo construct for a while. So, hmm, kind of tanky. Seems like the other bosses are able to one-shot them, which is interesting. Right, we'll put this down then, and we'll do this. Boom. Okay, the ult did no damage, but that's okay. Oh, so I've, I've like, do no damage. Because before I was doing 32,000, right, with Aether's elemental skill, I was doing, like, 120,000 with Zhongli's ultimate. So I'm losing, like, 40% of my damage, which is quite a significant amount. Ah! I'm okay. I'm okay. Physical damage, Andy. I'm okay. Run away! Okay, cool. 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 We're chilling, we're chilling. But yeah, so in the summer of 2022, we were hoping to go to Japan. Now, that is looking more and more unlikely because of the Omicron or Omicron, I'm not sure what it's called, variant of the virus. However, what might be possible is San Diego for TwitchCon, which will be very exciting if we can all go there. So, if you guys do watch streamers, TwitchCon is probably an event that you guys have heard of. However, again, it's just America, right? I also want to travel Asia. I want to travel Europe. I want to travel so many places. When you're in good company, guys, like, 
I'm not someone that likes going on holiday. I don't really like going on holiday and going abroad. My kind of free time that I enjoy the most is why I'm just chilling at home with Neko. Just chilling. Genuinely just chilling. However, when you are in good company, wherever you go, tourist destination, sightseeing, whatever, can all be super, super interesting. Whoa! Did Ninkwan just block those projectiles? She did! Yo! Hey, that's pretty cool. And, you know, New York... I've been to New York already, right? And for me, New York is not that interesting. It's just like a really, really large version of London with lots of super, super massive buildings, lots of skyscrapers and all of that kind of stuff. So for me, New York was not a big deal. Neko's, it was the, her first time in America, so that was a big deal. But because I was with friends, like people that I truly love, it feels great. Wherever you go, it's fun. If you're in good company, sightseeing can be enjoyable as well. I'm not someone that enjoys sightseeing. I'm genuinely the type of person that's like, why are you taking a photo of that? Just Google it. You know, just Google it. Green screen yourself in. So it's, I know it's not the same, but I'm genuinely one of those awful, awful people to travel with. Unless, you know, I'm very spoiled on the travel and I'm surrounded by good company, good food, and just it feels great. So yeah, I'm hoping one day that we can travel Asia as well. I know so many of you guys are from Asia. The When I look at my demographics, we have, for example, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, uh, Vietnam, of course, Hong Kong, uh, Japan, Korea, so many Asian countries, India, Pakistan as well. Have There's just so many, like there's so many of you guys from all across the world. And I would one day like to tour Asia. And by Asia, I mean the whole of Asia, not just like East Asia, because I know there's like this consensus that Asia is like only Chinese people, Japan and Korea. Like people think when you say Asia, it's literally just China, Japan and Korea. But there's so much more than that. So yes, I want to tour Asia one day with those people and I think it will be an incredible experience. And to end off the video, we are going to get ourselves Dream Solvent number 54. Never mind. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Albedo is genuinely now cracked with this new weapon. Very, very good. This new artifact set. Very, very good. Again, Constellation Zero. Talent level is 9, not crowned. I think I'm going to crown him. I think I'm going to crown him for the Geo Unga Bunga. And as you can see, the stats are not good. They are not good. And eventually, I'm going to change this so that the crit rate is at least 50% and the crit damage is close to 130% and energy recharge is just at 100. So that would be my ideal. So if you are looking for stats, guys, the most ideal I can recommend, because of course, my stats are going to be a little bit more skewed because I can farm artifacts at a faster rate. I would say you want to go for 50 to 70% crit rate, 140 20 to 140 percent crit damage 3000 defense is honestly overkill that's pro well actually i don't know with the new weapon 3000 defense might not be overkill either way if you go for defense or you go for crit damage or you go for crit rate either way you do want to have a much higher crit rate than 32 percent ideally around 60 percent and around 120 percent crit damage the one to two ratio is going to be great but otherwise thank you so so much for watching the video guys i hope you enjoyed albedo supremacy mihoyo please make albedo a tiny bit taller as he is canonically and also give him his proper tufts of hair so yeah thank you very much for watching have a wonderful wonderful day and bye bye